Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York, and we are back in Atlantic City on the boardwalk here. We're going to visit the Ocean Hotel and Casino. We've been here before, but that was prior to this whole COVID thing. This is uh, during COVID in the uh, Atlantic City boardwalk, the uh, hotels and casinos along the boardwalk and along the bay. Uh, opened up recently and uh, we're gonna check out the ocean It's gonna be one of the first places we're checking out during COVID on the right here of course is the beautiful Atlantic City Beach which seems to be pretty uh, busy today considering it's a weekday and it's pretty early in the morning uh, beach looks really good nice and clean and the weather here is beautiful and if you look at the ocean building itself I've never realized it before but it makes a lot of sense it's very blue and wavy just like the ocean Based on the number of comments I've gotten from the Ocean Resorts in a previous video here on the New York channel, this place is pretty popular with you guys, and I've never actually stayed here. I've, I've never gambled here, so I've never gotten comp to room, but uh, it might be a place, it's on my bucket list of a place to stay overnight, and if I have to pay for it, if I can get it at a good price, I'll definitely do that and let you guys check out some of the rooms here. We're passing some pretty cool food trucks and beer trucks here. And remember, in Atlantic City right now, there is no smoking, drinking, or eating anywhere inside a building. Let's check it out. <laughs> So those of you who are familiar with the ocean here in Atlantic City, and I know a lot of you are based on comments, uh, these escalators that lead off the boardwalk are pretty much nosebleed territory. Very tall escalators, and this whole atrium is extremely high. And the frosted glass rings that uh, you lead up to pretty much make you feel like you're going into the clouds. So I'm always amazed at casino carpeting. I don't know what it is, but somewhere out there, you know how like rug places have these binders that you look through and there's these little tabs that say earthy and airy. And I believe there's a tab out there somewhere. I haven't seen it yet that says casino. And in there are all these rugs that no one really wants except apparently casinos. And as you can see here, the ocean is doing their best to uh, stop the spread of COVID with all the plexi at all of their tables here. Jersey is still very tough on uh, restrictions as far as COVID is concerned. You must wear a face mask anywhere you are in public, with the exception being outdoors if you're pretty much by yourself. Um, in Atlantic City, there is no eating, smoking, or drinking, like I said. Um, and perhaps Vegas could learn a few lessons from New Jersey because New Jersey's on the rebound, uh, whereas Vegas is certainly not on the rebound and their restrictions are not as tight. This is the Ocean Sports Book, and it's pretty much one of the nicest sports books I've seen around. Bally's has a nice one too. Check out that video. Um, but this is a really nice sports book for the uh, Atlantic City Boardwalk. Perhaps I'll come back here and do a slot poll video, and uh, in doing so, perhaps get a room comp, and, well, that'll get me my goal here at the Ocean Resort. Pit Boss. What a great name for a casino barbecue joint. This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot, and other times she can be quite elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her, and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. On the left here is Amanda, the uh, restaurant in Atlantic City where you can soak in the ocean views while dining in a Spanish ambiance with authentic Mediterranean details. And the views are really incredible from up here. This is the elevator and stairs down to Dolce Mare, which is a modern Italian restaurant that captures the effortless elegance of ocean view dining in Atlantic City. It's actually two flights down, and the elevator says double down. Kind of cute for a casino elevator. This casino floor is huge, and so is the entire place, as a matter of fact. And uh, if you're into slots, I've never seen so many slots in one casino here in Atlantic City. I could be wrong, but it does seem like this place has more slots than any other place.
And now we're coming upon the HQ uh, Lounge, which is currently closed because of COVID, but hopefully it'll be opening up shortly. And here we have the 1927 Lounge, or the 1927 Speakeasy, as they call it here at the Ocean Resort. And of course, it too is closed. Remember, there's no smoking, eating, or drinking in any hotel or casino here in Atlantic City. So nothing's open here if you want to uh, imbibe in some adult beverages or have a nice lunch or, or have a cigarette for that matter. If you do, you need to go outside. And now we're heading into the district area of the Ocean Resort, which is where all the uh, bars and restaurants are located, or most of the bars and restaurants are concentrated. But as I mentioned, there is no uh, eating or drinking here inside the building. So most of these places are closed, but we will pass the food court, which is one of the busiest areas of this building right now. And uh, as you can see, there's no one eating inside. They uh, get their food here, they get it in a bag, and they have to take it to the boardwalk or some other place outside where they can enjoy what they just purchased. Normally this big uh, open area on the hardwood floor has uh, tables and chairs, but they've all been lifted so that people can uh, take the hint that they need to go outside if they want to enjoy their food. A very clean and luxurious men's room, and I assure you I was the only one here when I recorded this. Here we have Cafe 500, a great place for breakfast, if it was open, but of course it's not. The audio part of this New York video is being edited because of a copyright issue. Trust me. You couldn't even hear the freaking song playing in the background. But somehow someone saw an opportunity to make some cash on their stupid music. That's right. I didn't even like the song. I also understand the artist has body odor. How dare they interrupt this wonderful video? How would they like it if Jeff from New York interrupted one of their crappy songs with a video? Thank you for your patience. And now, back to this awesome video. This is Rocco's Italian Kitchen and Market serving up uh, made-to-order sandwiches and salads, pizzas, hot subs, and other Italian specialties. Uh, if you're craving something sweet, there's gelato, Italian pastries, cakes, and more. As you can see, no tables, no chairs. You can order food here, but you just can't sit down and eat. Gotta go outside, people. That's the showroom here at the ocean. Not too many shows going on right now. And now we're coming upon Rocket Fizz, one of my actually favorite stores here in Atlantic City, and it's located here at the ocean. Unfortunately, it's closed. <laughs> this place has all kinds of nostalgic candy, nostalgic knickknacks, uh, some memorabilia movie stuff. Um, just, I really like this place, and... Well, if you uh, want to see it in uh, full detail, just check out the Ocean Resort video that I did prior to COVID, and you'll see the inside of this store. I really like this place. What appears to be a long hallway here is actually a, a shopping area with uh, some vacant stores. Uh, in the middle here, there used to be lounges where you could sit down, and I used to sit down and charge my phone here, but there's no sitting down either right now, so... Uh, whatever stores are open, we'll check out, but most of the places here are either vacant or closed right now. Don't forget to check out my book, 50 Attractions and Many Tips When Visiting Las Vegas. It's down at the bottom in the description of this video that you're watching. It's only $4.99, instantly downloaded to your computer, tons of pictures and fantastic tips if you plan on visiting Sin City. On the left here we have Wahlburgers, and on the right we have Zen Bang. Uh, one serving up burgers, the other one serving up Asian cuisine. 
neither one's serving up anything right now. It's a little too early, but when they do start cooking, uh, again, you'll have to order and take your meals outside. They also have a Top Golf here. Immerse yourself in fun and games at the largest indoor Top Golf swing suite in America. Choose from virtual golf, target, or 18 hole course games, baseball, dodgeball, hockey, football, and carnival games. It's open to all ages. This is the main registration area, and it's uh, huge, really. And it's got this uh, outdoor area right in the middle of it, so uh, you don't need to find your way to the boardwalk if you need to go outside for a smoker or something like that. At first, it didn't seem to make much sense, but in these days of COVID, it actually makes a lot of sense to have this here. As you can see, there's a lot of open space here, and it probably wasn't like that pre-COVID. I'm sure there were furnishings like uh, tables and chairs and, and flowers and things like that, but that's all gone now, and it's uh, pretty much a huge open space. That smoking area sign is referring to that outdoor vestibule that we've been walking around. And the bar coming up, of course, is closed, as are all indoor bars here on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. Here we have some lobby sand art welcoming people back to the summer of 2020 here in Atlantic City. Coming up here is Harper's, which is a brunch destination here in Atlantic City. Uh, the bistro sits in a comfortable location at the Ocean Casino Resort with views of the skyline and gardens. Harper's brunch menu includes breakfast options such as lobster frittata, bacon pecan sticky buns, waffles, and French press coffee. And there's also a lunch that includes baby arugula salads and grilled pork belly burgers. And like I said, it's really become the uh, destination to go to if you're looking for a good brunch here in Atlantic City. Of course, you can't eat any of this delicious food inside here, but there's a really nice outdoor sitting area right across the way here. Let's go check it out. This area is called the Sky Garden and it features a uh, nice fire pit as well as tables to sit down if you had purchased some food inside the building. And if we follow this path, it'll lead us to a beautiful view of the ocean and the Atlantic City boardwalk. And I know some of you must be thinking, hey, Jeff from New York, it's called the Sky Garden, but that don't look like no freaking garden to me. So keep in mind when I visited the ocean here that uh, this place just opened a couple days ago uh, and it's been closed for several months. So there really hasn't been too much gardening keep up around here. So it's uh, looking pretty sad. I've been up here when things are in full bloom and it really is beautiful. There's some more fire pits over here, as well as plenty of places to sit down and take in the view. Back inside again, this is the Sky Cafe, which is the destination for relaxed fun and delicious drinks, or so the website says. Soak in the ambiance as you watch the bar TV, relax on the pool deck, or overlook the ocean. Craft beer options, full wine list, and a trendy selection of crafted cocktails are available at this quiet cafe. Brighten up your day at the Sky Cafe. Whoa, that is a dizzying sight. And those are the escalators we took when we came in off the boardwalk. 
Some of the shops here at the ocean include Bang Salon and Blow Dry Lounge, Bergio, Core Departure, Core Lobby, Core Revelry, David Holtzman Gallery, Exhale, which is a uh, spa here at the ocean, Flying Point Surf Shop, there's a gift card shop, a Hooligans, a O-Man, a Ocean's Wine and Spirits, a Renee, and a Time After Time. Coming up here on the left is Exhale, the spa that I mentioned. The ocean has several areas you can go swimming, several different types of pools. Uh, they're called the Eclipse Pool, the HQ2 Beach Club, the Poseidon Pool and Cabana Club, the Boardwalk Pool, and of course there's that beautiful ocean right outside your door. And as of right now I believe all of these pools are open with the exception of the HQ2 Beach Club. We're back at the main entrance right now and uh, the hotel has some really beautiful art inside and uh, a lot of this hanging art as well, it's really beautiful. Hold on tight. Real tight. Another quick walk through the casino, and I just cannot believe how many slot machines this place has. I mean, if there's a standard ratio of slot machines to table games, this place seems to have uh, really blown that ratio out of the water. And the layout here in the casino is really broken up, and I guess most casinos are. They don't want you to find your way around easily. They want you to get lost in here, and it's pretty easy to do that here at the ocean. And here we have Bangs, the hair salon. And uh, when I filmed this, all of the hair salons in the entire state were closed. I believe they're just reopening now, so uh, maybe Bangs is open now. Not sure. And coming up here on the left is Exhale again. We passed Exhale uh, a little earlier in the video. The spa entrance. This would be the gym entrance. It's all connected, but it seems to have different entrances for different areas of the spa and gym. Since the ocean opened, uh, it's really become quite popular and quite well known for its customer service. And I have to say, during my visit today, I've been quite impressed. For example, when I arrived today, I asked the valet to please take care of my car, and as you can see, they really do go above and beyond. This is a early 60s Corvette Stingray. There's no plaque or any reason explaining why the car is here, um, but I certainly appreciate a little eye candy going through the halls here, and it's really a beautiful car. As I'm editing this video, I have to keep lowering and lowering the background sound because the music in this hotel and casino seems to be getting louder and louder. It's good music, but I certainly can't have it on the video. You just gotta be careful of those copyright infringements. The general area we're in right now is called the Shops at the Row, and uh, earlier in the video I mentioned all the shops here at the Ocean Hotel and Casino, uh, so I'm not going to go through the list again, but there's a lot of shopping in this place. And for the most part, everything seems to be open here, which is a good thing, obviously other than the restaurants and lounges, but... Uh, as far as shopping is concerned, everything seems to be 100% up and running. Here's Ocean Spirits, and I joke around a lot and uh, mention uh, spirit stores inside hotels, but the truth is, never ever buy uh, wine or spirits in a hotel. It's just a crazy markup. Usually you can find a place right outside the door that's a lot cheaper. And here we have another crazy cool ride. This time it's a bike. And for some odd reason, it's themed NHL or National Hockey League. And if you were ever wondering if a chopper was themed uh, National Hockey League wise, well, I guess you can now say the answer is yes. 
I bet you there was a lot of rumbling going on when this thing was being taken into the hotel. Or perhaps more likely, they just walked it in. So we're coming somewhere close to the end of our visit here at the Ocean Hotel and Resorts, and I was curious to think what you guys thought of this place. Just leave a comment below, but I do have another Ocean uh, video here on the New York channel, and uh, it's very popular, and most of the comments were really good about this place, and the more I come here, the more I like it, and it just might become my favorite place here on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. I'd really like to stay here sometime in the near future and do a room tour for you guys, so that's probably going to be in the works. During my visit here, security had set up tables uh, where they were giving out bottled water, which was a good idea since you can't officially drink inside this building. Uh, I guess they allow water be to be consumed, and they were passing out bottled water to anyone who wants it. They're pretty much located throughout the hotel. And while I try to find my way out of here, I just want to remind you guys to please click on that community tab here on the New York channel. I'm noticing more and more comments on it every day, and I try to do a posting every day on that uh, in that community tab. Uh, I leave my opinions on things or just uh, some updates on stuff, and you guys leave your opinions. And It's a cool place to just hang out and see what's going on with the uh, New York community. Aha, I remember that red Benz when we came in, so we must be somewhere near the entrance. And speaking of Mercedes-Benz, I always wondered what is the plural of Mercedes-Benz? Is it Mercedes-Benzes? Or Mercedes-Benz? Or perhaps you have the answer. Let us know. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.